Yo, what's the word, Ox? How y'all feeling? It's your boy Spirit D signing in with a quick banger. I'm a free ball. I know I ain't giving y'all any information lately, so I just want to free ball for real, for real. I don't got nothing specific I want to talk about, but I just want to go in. I'm going to be real with you guys. Anybody watching this video and actually, you know, uh, digs deep and pays attention to all the shit to pay attention to you don't have to but I'm saying anybody that actually does if you have been paying attention to this the stuff I've been posting on my channel that you may notice that you may notice that I've been on autopilot bro like since since leaving out of the month of March the whole April bro it's like the whole month of April bro I was on autopilot <laughs> You know, um, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, you know, like I came from being homeless, living in my Nissan Sentra for three months. You see what I'm saying? So when I finally got the opportunity to be inside a household where I, where I could lay down and take a shower when I wake up, all that type of thing. Not that it matters because it's, it's not a really about at the end of the day, bro. You could be down to your last. You could be sleeping on the floor with no car, bro. It's all about how grateful you are. So I don't want none of y'all staring this the wrong way and thinking that I'm saying that, you know, um, that I'm trying to play a victim role or make it seem like I'm, I, I was not grateful for my situation. I was still grateful for the fact that I was even in a car, right? But that all being said, man, it's just like I just look back and I realize, bro, like I've been on autopilot for about a month. And I've only been on autopilot because I've been so relieved to finally be in a house that I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to just chill. I'm not even going to speak out on certain things that I want to speak out on. I mean, not to say that I had to, like, my energy speaks for itself. So where I'm at in life now, where I'm at in life now, I don't necessarily have to do too, too, too much. My, my energy already sets, it bound, sets its boundaries for itself. But then again... That being said, right, there still are little t gang stalking tactics here and there that I know how to maneuver around consciously, but I wasn't maneuvering around them because I was, I was moving subconsciously in that field. And the reason why I was is because I wanted security. I wanted a house. I wanted to be in a house. I wanted security. I was happy that I finally got into a house. And I was like, I don't want to end up having to get kicked out of this house. So, yeah, I see y'all gang stalking behind me. Yeah, I see y'all talking shit behind me. Yeah, I hear y'all talking shit behind me. I feel it telepathically, and I see y'all. But I'm ignoring it. I stayed in that ignore state. I, st I just kept ignoring it and not giving my emotion to it. But then again, it's like you got to have balance when it comes to that because it's like if you just keep ignoring, 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 but you still sit in somebody's house while you ignoring, 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 you know, folks just going to talk shit about you. Folks just going to do you in. Folks just going to speak on your name. Right. If you allowing it, if you turning your back to it rather than, you know, confronting it. Right. So it's like. I say all that to just let you guys know, like I've been on autopilot this last this last month because I've been I've been content with where I've been at. Right. But it's like where I'm at now with it, bro. I'm not in that house no more, so I'm back. I'm back in my car, homeless, right? I'm back in my whip, homeless. But it's like, now that I think about it, it's like, this is the best feeling ever, bro. Like, this is a greater feeling than it could ever have been of being in that house. It's like, I was in a house for a whole month, not doing shit. Now, loving fully, I needed the break. So, so fortunately, I needed the break. So it's like, me not doing shit for that whole month, it was it was calm. Like, I knew my, my body, like, it's all part of divine timing. I knew I was supposed to not really be doing too much. Because if you if you really been studying my life, bro, you would know that I've been busting my tail off for the past two years since I've woken up. I woke up 2021, leaving out of 2020, end of 2020, going into 2021, I woke up. And since then, ever since then, I feel like I have not let off of my back. Like, I have not given myself a break. It's like I'm one of those guys that when I find out the information and the knowledge and I know what I can do with it and all that type of thing, I'm really anxious and excited about that shit. I really want to go in, 
right? But I had to learn a lot of shit. I had to learn patience. I had to learn endurance. You know, I had to learn a lot of shit. A lot, right? But with all that being said, man, listen. Like I say, I say all that in this video to tell you guys, like, I was on autopilot, but I'm back now. Like, I'm here. I'm conscious, fully conscious, right? And for anybody that's, you know, maybe have been through my situation, I want to let you know, bro, stay here. Stay aware. No matter what it is, like, even if you want an uncomfortable situation, be aware of it. Be aware in that uncomfortable situation, right? Even if you want a situation that, that's comfortable, you finally got you a house, woo woo still be here. Don't go on subconscious mode just because you finally got what you wanted or woo woo Because I'm telling you, when you go in subconscious mode, not only are people around you going to play with you, it's not even about the people around you. It's just about your whole atmosphere, the whole atmosphere, the whole uh, flow of ener the, er the energetic wave frequency of... Uh, waves th like that's what it's about the, the, because if you're not consciously here subconsciously you're going to do things on a subconscious level now i'm not saying you some of y'all could have a great subconscious some of y'all subconscious could, could still move you in 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 you know high fields you know so you still be great you still be all right right but but with that being said you know you you for the most part you want to make sure that you're always conscious because conscious is going to get get you what you actually you know desire and, and and really need on the inside right being conscious being here so for example me not having a, uh, a house a place to stay i'm glad that i'm i don't give a damn though because i'm back like i feel like i'm back i feel like i kind of like lost myself lost parts of myself for a whole month you know and Maybe another person watching me could be like, no, you didn't lose yourself, Duante. I mean, like, you, you know, but it's like when when you when, like, bro, I really take my life serious, bro. And I take every part of my life serious. So it's like when I when I slack, I, I'm like, damn, bro, I can't be slacking. But it's like I know I, I know I can because you got to give yourself that love to where you got to understand. Like, it's this is not nothing to take serious down here, bro. Like I say in all my videos. None of this shit matters down here, bro. It's all about where your intent is at in your heart, you know? But with all that being said, man, listen, like I said, somebody need to hear this, all right? But as far as my situation, I'm going to give you guys a quick update. Like, I, like, you know, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm just going to live now. Like, where I'm at with it in life now, bro, I feel I've seen, I've literally seen my body rejuvenate. I've seen myself go from a death cycle to, to rebirth, bro. I, I felt it in my voice. I felt the va I've, I felt all my chakras open up in my body. Like I've seen unseen things. I've seen, I've experienced ish and shit that, you know, no human being would believe down here. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I'm, I'm just ready to just be 100% me. And when I say 100% me, like I'm ready to just be on my authentic, 100% authentic status. Like on some real shit, I don't give a fuck how any outcome turns out anymore, bro. I, I feel like I've been through so much and I've been trying to accomplish so much that I've been stressing myself out about it that I haven't even given my chance the time. I haven't even given myself the time and chance to enjoy the benefits I've been receiving from the universe. It's like, It's like the universe real life gave me my spark back, bro. It, like, like, bro, back in 2020, going, going into 2021, I got a spark. And this spark allowed me to manifest like a fucking beast, right? Manifest, attract things that I want, getting random text messages from, from people I'm thinking about, being able to just live life from, from, from 6 a.m. To, to 6 a.m., literally that whole frequency of just feeling good i literally was in that phase from 2020 to 2021 and then you know it went away but for a month now my energies came back and it's like i still i still even though my tools have came back my gifts has came back it's like it's like it's like even though my stuff has came back i messed around in and I, I messed around and still abused my power or not abuse my power, but like I messed around and and still did not, you know, um, get to enjoy it. And it's like my, my shit's still here. Like I still got the energy here now. And, and, and I'm glad that, you know, universe isn't on the type of time to where if you if you take your powers for granted within a, a week, <laughs> you know, 
then we take your powers back. We take your powers back to the cosmos. I'm glad the universe is not on that type of time, right? I'm glad the universe understands that we all go through trial and error and that we got to learn, right? But um, I know the hair probably looking rough, y'all. But look, that all being said, understand though. Understand though, I'm here, man. So, you know, I don't know what I got for y'all just yet. But I know that I'm going to do what I'm going to do and I'm going to do what I, what I feel. All right? Nigga operating out of his 100% higher self. Nigga operating out of his intuition, following his intuition to the core. No fucks given. And this is how you need to live. All right? But it takes you to have to go through hardships to get to this point in time of life. Sometimes that just is what it is. You know? But all that being said, man, look. I'm going to catch you on the next video. It's your boy Spirit D signing out. One love, family, grand rising, and have a great day. Peace.